me do that. Mm. That's I can't put all my my yacht in that little pond over there. I can't do that. Mm. So Kirk's like, I'm I'm putting my whole yacht in this pond. So y'all gonna be like, yeah, you gotta respect that. Mm. You gotta respect that. And so my mission is similar in a sense of just like, we don't fit in the box you want us to fit in. Like, take us out that box. Like, I don't really fool with church. I don't really fool with God. I don't know about, man, God, God don't really speak to me. I do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They don't really make music. I do. And nobody really, I do. What you gonna say now? Mm. You know what I'm saying? They don't really be in the prisons. I do. What you gonna say? You know it's crazy saying? because they, as much as you try not to be in that box, you still got people that make little statements of like, what somebody said, you couldn't be a mainstream rapper, so like you decided oh, to yeah. be a gospel rapper. It's I like, hate that one. oh, you ain't that cool, so you could just be cool yeah, over here. Yeah. It's like, bro, what do y'all be thinking, bro? Yeah, you could you weren't good enough for varsity, so you the JV <laughs> All Star. <laughs> you know just what I'm do J V All Star. Yeah. Like, what, bro? Like nah. the internet be crazy. If bro. I if this is J V, I chose it. I didn't like I could have played varsity. Mm -hmm. I did, I decided not to. You know what I'm saying? It's like like, oh, you overseas with it, huh? You didn't make the you didn't make the league. Like, nah, I chose to play overseas. You mm. know what I'm saying? I saw the value here and wanted to be here. Um, this wasn't this wasn't second choice for me. This was my first choice. And I remember when I was making my first album, I'd be in the studio with a lot of producers and stuff, and they would be like, Bro, you sure you wanna do it just for God? And I was like, Absolutely. It was like, you kinda dope though. Oh, <laughs> light bulb just went off. Hold up. Didn't you turn down a um a Kendrick Lamar? Song or something like that. So I didn't turn it down. What I did was I didn't pursue it. So Kendrick said, when me and you do a record together, that's gonna be the world. And I never pursued it because I was too concerned about our relationship. You know mm. what I'm saying? I didn't want him to feel like I'm only over here so I can get that feature. So I never brought it up. I never said nothing. I never, like we would talk on a regular basis. He asked me questions, blah, 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 blah. Nah, bro, I'm not. Because <clears throat> at the time, I felt like, and I don't know how, if I would've done anything different, I don't know. But at the time I felt like, cause we, I remember us having this conversation about Bob Marley. And I was like, bro, at the time I just felt like God was doing something special with him. And I was like, man, I don't want to encroach on that. I don't mm. want to, like, you got enough people pulling at you. So for me, it was like, nah, I'm not pushing that button at all. So given what just transpired, do you regret that? I don't <clears throat> I don't regret it because it would have been a moment in history. But it's like lots of people have a Kendrick, Rich, Rich, I mean, Rich the Kid got a Kendrick feature. It's not, it's a moment in history. It's not like it solidifies you or makes you somebody. I think. I'm just grateful to be like, man, I like I know, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm grateful mm -hmm. to be like, yo, I know K Dot. I'm grateful to be like, I got to witness a juggernaut in hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, in terms of skill and craftsmanship, he could grow as a man as we all could. You know what I'm saying? He not otherworldly to me, but he is a rap juggernaut. He is an Avenger. So do you still listen to rap music? Yeah. Okay. I mean, because yeah. you know, bro, Christians like you're not supposed to listen to secular music. Some I, of them, I mean, I got a I, I got a podcast coming out about that. Hey, I, I don't know, man. I just got a trade like I'm being careful. So yeah. Since you do listen to rap music, did you think uh Drake stood any chance against Kendrick Lamar? No. 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 Not a small chance. No. Nah. Oh, he was crazy. Drake is a great rapper, but Kendrick's from the culture. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like you can. I, I mean, this is my opinion. Hot take. Hot take. Drake is a phenomenal rapper. And uh, Ghost Riders aside, he's a great rapper. I know he can really rap. But Drake is a fan of the culture. Kendrick mm. is a product of the culture. It's a difference. Like, it's like, it's why the USA keep winning in basketball overseas, because it's like, no, nah, we built it. We started this. We made this. Mm. Y'all are fans of this. And it's going to come a day, like now it's a part of their culture. Now it's a part of the fabric of, of, of Europe where it's like, all right, y'all ain't to be played with no more. You know what I'm saying? I think Drake is the beginning of like that Euro League. Like he the first one to be like, 
Nah, this is really global now, homie. But to me, hip hop is it ain't even about global. Let me let me re, let me retract that. This is what I'll say. It ain't about global. Hip hop rap music has pretty much always been about people coming from the trenches, dealing with some 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 train some trauma, some pain, the struggle. Yeah. It's why Eminem can gets the, gets the rock like that cuz he really come from that. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to pop it like that if you don't really come from that. It's hard to have that dog in you if that's not, you know what I'm saying? If your mama was making you lunch as an adult, it's hard to just pop it like that, bro. It's just, that's, it just ain't the same. Yo, you is crazy. I'm just, I'm just it just ain't the same, bro. I'm letting you go. This is going to be a crazy clip, but you going crazy. I'm like, nah, I'm not, you go. I'm, I'm just... I mean, I'm so, not gonna get no Drake feature, so I don't bother me. Like, <laughs> so you want if Drake was like, "Yeah, I'm trying to do the song with Lecrae," you wouldn't do it. Depends on what the song's about. Depends on what the song's about. Okay, I mean, if we talk on some neutral territory for so, sure. So. I still think he's a dope artist. Don't get it twisted. I think he's a dope artist. He just not from. He not cut from that cloth. So basically, you saying Kendrick Lamar is the NFL and Drake is Canadian League? I don't know about Canadian League. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I mean, no, <laughs> no slight to nobody in the Canadian League. That's a big gap. That's a crazy that gap. That gap is crazy. <laughs> I ain't putting them in. I'm saying like, I'm saying like Serbia or France versus Team USA. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm, <laughs> basketball. I'm saying the gap ain't that wide. Like Europeans, they balling right now. But I'm just saying as a whole, like we started it. Like it's our it's our thing, so we. That's why we've been so dominant at it. I'm mm. just saying, as far as rap is concerned, you still gotta have that. It gotta be, it gotta be in you, not just on you. Now I, ain't, I can't even say you're right, man. I, I thought, I personally thought Drake was gonna hold it down. I had to make a public pop, a yeah. public apology, man. 